Welcome to Tech Guy channel. In this tutorial, you will learn a different ways of copying formulas in Excel. Our first example is copying a formula into multiple cells by dragging. First, enter the formula which you want to copy, then press enter. Then select the cell with the formula, and hover the mouse cursor over a small square at the lower right hand corner of the cell, which is called the fill handle. As you do this, the cursor will change to a thick black cross. Hold and drag the fill handle down the column over the cells where you want to copy the formula like this. In a similar manner, you can drag formula into adjacent cells to the right, to the left or upwards. For more example, I will create more formula first. Now for dragging to the right, to the left, and dragging up is just like this. If the formula includes relative cell references, they will automatically change based on a relative position of rows and columns. So, after copying the formula, verify that the cell references have got adjusted properly and produce the expected result. If necessary, switch between absolute, relative, and mixed references by using the F4 key. To make sure the formula was copied correctly, let's select some cell in column H, let's say H4, and view the cell reference in the formula bar. As you can see in the formula is alright, relative to row 4, exactly as it should be. You can also double click to see the referenced cells. Another way of copying the formula to entire column is by double clicking the plus sign to fill the entire column. Instead of click and dragging, move your mouse to the lower right corner, and double click when the cursor turns into a plus sign. This will automatically copy the formula to the entire column. Take note the double clicking the plus sign copies the formula down as far as there is any data to the left. In other words, as long as you have row headers or any other data in any of the left hand columns, Excel continues to copy the formula. As soon as an empty row occurs, the autofill stops. So, if your worksheet contains any gaps, you will have to repeat the above process to copy the formula below an empty row. This is very useful when you are working with more entries. Let's have some demo. I will add some formula first. Now we'll do copying by double clicking the lower right corner. First select the cell with formula, then double click at the lower right corner. Another way of copying a formula to non-adjacent cells and or ranges. The best way of copying a formula to non-adjacent cells is by using the old copy and paste method. Let's do some demo. First, create a formula to be copied, then press enter. Click the cell with the formula to select it. Then press Ctrl C to copy the formula. Then select a cell or a range of cells where you want to paste the formula, and take note, while selecting the multiple destination, press and hold the control key. Then press control V to paste the formula. Next is how to enter a formula into multiple cells with a single keystroke using control plus enter. In situations when you need to input the same formula in more than one cell on a worksheet, adjacent or non-adjacent ones, this method can be a time saver. Let's have some demo. Select all the cells where you want to enter the formula. To select non-contiguous cells, press and hold the control key. Press F2 to enter the edit mode. Input your formula in one cell, and press control plus enter instead of enter. That's it. The formula will get copied to all of the selected cells, and Excel will adjust relative cell references accordingly. Next example is copying a formula with different formatting options. Copying a formula down by dragging the fill handle not only copies the formula, but also the source cell formatting such as font or background color, currency symbols, the number of displayed decimal places, etc. In most cases, this works just fine, but sometimes it can mess up the existing formats in cells where the formula is being copied to. A common example is overwriting alternate row shadings like this which we have done on the previous example. 
Before doing some example, I will delete these entries first in column H2 then I'll fix the shading. To prevent overwriting the existing cell formatting, select the cell with formula first, then drag the fill handle, release it, click the auto fill options drop down menu, and select fill without formatting. But remember that these option will not copy the font size, font style, and text color of the source you are copying. I will undo then change some format, and let's do different methods. Press Ctrl C to copy, then select the destination, right click, and select paste special, and now, if I will position my mouse over this normal paste option, you can see the output in the destination itself that all formatting is copied including shading. For the formula option, you can see that it will copy only the formula without formatting. For the third option which is formulas and number formatting, it will copy only the formula and number formatting, while the fourth one which is the source formatting is almost the same with normal paste option. We can select any of these option with the nearest desired output then after that, we have to modify its formatting to match the expected format. For now I will select this fourth option. And what I have to do is just change the shading. Next example is copying a formula in Excel without changing references using the absolute and mixed reference. Depending on your particular task, choose one of the following solutions. First example, let's say we'll copy H10 to H12. Click cell H10 to show the formula in formula bar, then select the formula using the mouse, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. If you want to move the formula, press Ctrl plus X to cut it. Then press Enter. Select the destination cell and press Ctrl plus V to paste the formula there. Alternatively, you can enter the editing mode and copy the formula in the cell as text by selecting the source, then pressing F2, or by double clicking the cell, then select the formula in the cell using the mouse, then press Ctrl plus C to copy it. For this example, we'll use cell I10 as the source and cell I12 as the destination. Then press Ctrl plus V. This will paste the formula exactly without changing the cell references because the formula was copied as text. You can use these methods if you need to copy or move just one formula making exact copy. Another way is copying a range of formulas without changing cell references. This is by using dollar sign in the source cell called absolute reference. Let's say we'll copy the formula from cell H2 to cell range K2 through K10. What I have to do first is change the formula in cell H2 from relative to absolute reference like this. Click on cell H2 then select all the formula in the formula bar then press F4 to shift to absolute, then press enter. Then select H2 again and press Ctrl plus C to copy, then select the destination which is cell K2 to cell K10, then simply press Ctrl plus V to paste, and that's it. Now you can see in the formula bar that all formulas from cell K2 through cell K10 is the same as cell H2. For the second example using mixed reference, Let's say we will create a formula to display each percentage of each item from the total of in each store. Because we have four stores, we need to create four formula source, and we'll use the single keystroke to save time. First is select the cells where we will enter the formula, then press F2, then type equals sign, then the formula, in this case cell B2 will be relative while cell B11 will be mixed reference, absolute column, and relative row. Note that you can press F4 to switch from relative to absolute or mixed, or you can type it manually. Then press Ctrl plus Enter to show the results, now it's ready to copy the formula down. Let's change the format first. This cover the different ways of copying formulas in MS Excel. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.